All right, economists, for this choice, you'll be working with the piggy bank primer, and you'll need to go get a little blank book from your teacher to do the activities. All right, hopefully you have your blank book and you're ready to go. The Piggy Bank Primer. Hi, my name is Pig E. Bank. I'm the fellow on your dresser who helps you save money for things that you want. I am usually a bank shaped like a pig, but even a can, a jar, or an old box can be used as a bank. A favorite saying of mine is, spend a part, save a part, and maybe share a part. Two friends of mine learned this lesson not too long ago. Greg Hopper and his friend Ann T. both wanted a, had a want. They saw a great MP3 player at the mall. It was really cool. It was the MP3 player that everyone wanted. They made plans to buy the MP3 player. Activity 1. My Wants. Here's some things, some definitions for you to know. Wants. These are desires or wishes that can be satisfied by consuming goods or services. Remember, a good is an object that can satisfy people's wants. These are things that people make or grow. Services. These are activities that can satisfy people's want, wants. So these are things that you can do for others. And income is earning received for work, providing human labor or resources. In your little blank book, I want you to do this activity. Greg and Ann have unlimited wants for goods and services. What are some goods or services that you want? On page one, either paste pictures, draw pictures, or write a list of things that you want. They can be goods or services. When you're done, continue the video. Greg went to his mother and asked her to buy the MP3 player for him. His mother told him he could earn income by working around the house, and then he could use that money to buy the MP3 player. She said that she would pay him to clean his room, mow the yard, and take out the trash during summer break. Greg was so happy that he jumped up and down yelling, I am getting my MP3 player! At first, Greg worked hard to earn the income for his MP3 player. When his mother paid him, he put his money into a pickle jar. He was well on his way to saving enough for his MP3 player. Activity 2. It's time to get out your booklet again. This is called Now or Later. Here's a definition for you to know. Saving means putting aside income or gift money for future use. Look back at the pictures of your list of wants in Activity 1. Which goods or services can you buy right now? And which goods or services must you save for? You have to decide. On the next two pages in your booklet, you're going to use pictures or lists to describe your choices in each category. So on one page, write, wants, I can buy now. And you can use pictures or make a list of the wants that you can buy now. On the next page, write, wants, I must save to buy. And then use pictures or make a list of the wants that you must save to buy. Press play when you're ready to continue. One day, Greg's friends asked him to go to the park to ride bikes. When Greg told them about all the money he had in his pickle jar, they begged him to buy ice cream for them. After all, Greg had plenty of money to spend. Greg had a choice to make. I can buy ice cream for everyone or save for my MP3 player, he thought to himself. Maybe it won't hurt this one time to treat my friends. Greg went back to the house to get the money from the jar to pay for the ice cream. He took a little extra just in case. He had less savings in his jar. After the ice cream, Greg and his friends passed the video arcade. Buy us tokens for video games, his friends begged. Greg, being a good-hearted person, bought the tokens. Giving to charity was important to Greg. When he was at the zoo, he learned that the zoo was collecting money for a new panda bear exhibit. He decided he wanted to help, so he also gave some money for the exhibit. Every day, more interesting things, like going to the movies, going to an amusement park, or just buying new CDs kept Greg spending his money. Soon he had little savings. Greg had a super time with his friends, but he wasn't saving for the MP3 player. When he spent his money for things now, he gave up saving for the MP player. Auntie planned differently. 
and earned income from tasks that she did around the house, too. She offered to babysit her little sister so that her mother could cook dinner. She saved her income in her piggy bank. Spend a part, save a part, and share a part is what I'm going to do, thought Anne. She saved for the MP3 player and bought a new comic book. She thought the new panda bear exhibit for the zoo was important, too, so she made a contribution. I have a birthday coming up soon, she thought. I think I will use some of the money I receive as a birthday gifts to buy that new game I want, but I will save the rest of my birthday money in my piggy bank for the MP3 player. Anne and her friends had some good times during the summer, but Anne always did the jobs that she said she would before she went off to play. When her friends begged her to buy them ice cream or candy bars, she would tell them that she was saving for an MP3 player. As a special treat for a birthday, she would buy her friends an ice cream cone. At the end of summer, Anne had saved, spent, and shared her money wisely. Here's the next activity. Get back out your booklet. It's called Choices Have Costs and Benefits. You'll need to know these definitions. Choices, those are the decisions made or a course of action taken. Benefits, these are things that are favorable to the decision maker. Think of them like a plus. Costs, these are things that are unfavorable to the decision maker. Think of them like a minus. When you make a decision, you have to look at all of the benefits and costs that go along with each choice. You wanna select the choice that gives you the most benefits for the fewest costs. Now's your chance to satisfy your wants. You're gonna write two choices from activity three on the lines above the chart. You're actually gonna do this in your booklet. You're gonna list all of the benefits and the costs for each of the items. See which one will satisfy your wants in the best possible way. So on the next page of your booklet, write choice one and choice two, and you're gonna to have to look back and from your list, pick two of the things from your list. Now, underneath choice one, I want you to list all of the benefits, all of the pluses about making this choice. Then, underneath choice two, write all of the benefits or the pluses for choice two. On the next page, write all of the costs or the negatives about making choice one, and then all of the costs or the negatives about making choice two. Press play when you're ready to continue. How do I start saving? Ann T wanted her MP3 player. She knew she would have to save money she received as gifts or income she earned doing jobs for others. Her mother helped Ann make a budget to help her meet her goals. The first thing Ann decided was how much to save. Then Anne searched for ways she could earn income to save for her MP3 player. She started by offering to watch her little sister while her mother cooked dinner. Sweeping the sidewalk was hard work, but it was another way for Anne to earn income to save. Wisely, Anne put the money she received as gifts into her plan. Any money Anne was given or income she earned was included in her budget. Anne's mother told Anne to include other things for which she wanted to save in her budget too. Anne wanted a new game to play with her friends, so she included that in her budget. Anne liked to help others. From her visit to the zoo, she remembered that the zoo was collecting money for the new panda exhibit. Anne decided to include giving money to the zoo in her budget. Planning a budget helped Anne to spend, save, and share her money wisely. So some things to think about are your goals. A goal is something a person plans to achieve in the future. What goals do you need to save for? You'll need to plan. That's a process developed in advance of doing something to achieve your goal. Anne had a plan. A budget can be a part of that plan. It's a plan for managing income, saving, and spending. A week before school started, Greg and Anne planned to go to the mall to buy their MP3 players. Greg went to his mother to ask about buying his MP3 player. His mother asked him for the money that he had saved from the income he earned, working, and from the money he had received as birthday presents. He shook his head sadly. He had spent much of his money, so he did not have enough saved to buy the MP3 player. Anne asked her mother to take her to the store to buy her MP3 player. She not only had saved for the MP3 player, but she also had money for a pizza, which she shared with her friend Greg. The moral of the story, when you learn to work hard to earn income, 
Remember to spend a part, save a part, and maybe share a part. Spending, saving, and sharing mean that you can have some of the things you want now. You must plan for things you want in the future, and you can still help others. Have fun buying some things you, when you want them, but stick to your plan to save for the big things you want in the future. By planning, you will know how much you can spend on your friends when you're doing fun things with them. That's the end of this project. Make sure you turn your little booklet into your teacher and think about how you're going to save for the things you want later.